What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. My name is Kevin Brown, also known as Expressed Words with a Z, and welcome back to Speak It, See It, Feel It, where you can speak your life into existence, you can see it becoming a reality, and you can feel as if it is already yours, guys. It is already done. Happy Monday. Welcome back to another video. I hope you all had a wonderful and a blessed day today. Hope you guys had a great weekend and I hope you're going to push through this week, my family, all right? Now listen guys, you already know the deal. Today is Monday mental health check-in, so drop your comments down below and let me know how you guys are feeling. How was your weekend? Any success stories that you might have, drop it down below so that you can measure your success. But not only that, I'm holding you accountable. All right, I told you guys, going into the weekend, you're gonna work on yourselves and I wanna know what you worked on. I wanna know how you're doing and how things are going for you guys, my family. This is how you're gonna continue to keep moving the needle forward, okay? So drop your comments down below and let me know how things are going for you guys, all right? Now, listen, guys, I have a quick motivational message for you. This video is going out late on Monday. Um, I was out all day with my son today. We were just hanging out, doing different things. Um, so, but I still wanted to get this message out because there's some weird stuff going on right now. And I want you guys to let me know if you're feeling this energy, okay? There's a weird energy going on from people, uh, just a, a weird vibe, an ugly vibe even, disrespectful vibe. Um, I, I truly feel that something is happening. If you guys listen to my short that I put out over the weekend, you know, I said, God says, do, do not worry, right? Do not worry, okay? I also put out a community post this morning, you know, saying that many of you are probably dreading this week. You might be dreading something that's coming up on Wednesday. You're dreading something that's coming up on Thursday. You're dreading that meeting that you're gonna have with your boss on Friday. Whatever it may be, there's some weird energy here that's keeping you down here and keeping your mindset in a state of worry. Keeping you wondering, well, what's gonna happen? Keeping you, you know what I'm saying, like, like itching, trying to figure out well, what's gonna happen, what's gonna happen. Listen, family, okay? The anxious feeling and everything that's going on right now in your life, man, okay? This is where you have to be cool, calm, and collect like the other side of a pillow, right? This is where you need to calm down and relax, okay? Because there may be people that's purposely trying to stir your emotions up, right? They're purposely trying to fire you, fire you up. They're purposely trying to do things to you to get you out of character, to get you out of your element. And many of you are getting ready to step into a new blessing. You're getting ready to receive something new. Great things are getting ready to happen for you. You're getting ready to happen for your family, you know, your business, whatever it may be. There's always going to be something there that's going to show up to stop you. And what's important right now, family, is with this weird energetic vibe that's happening, because so many people are like, yo, Coach Kev, like I'm stuck right now. I'm just, I'm stuck in life. I don't know what to do. I don't know where to go. I don't know who to talk to. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing, man. This nine to five job that people are getting on my nerves. The narcissist is starting to come back. What am I actually supposed to do in my life? What exactly is going on right now? You know, your mindset is a battlefield, guys. All right, I told you that. All right, remember we talked about this morning in the community post. Your mindset is, your or your mindset, your mind is a battlefield right now. So your mindset is important. It's extremely vital. All right, and, and the, I wanna give a big shout out to all the people in the Patreon that showed up for the Patreon community Zoom session, man. I had a great time with you guys last night talking. Um, it was absolutely phenomenal. For those of you that RSVP, you didn't show up. What happened to you? <laughs> what happened to you? It's okay, I know some of you guys got things going on and everything like that, but a big, big shout out to all of you guys. And I feel like there's a reason why I was like, yo, I gotta discuss mindset, right? We gotta talk about this. Um, and it's not by coincidence that you guys are, you know, worrying about things. Okay, you got a lot going on up here, which means you, you don't have the vision to move forward. You don't have the thought process to move forward because you're stuck in something that's keeping you there. And family, remember, man, you guys gotta, you have to reprogram your subconscious mind. Okay, that is extremely, extremely vital right now. Many of you guys are recreating the same scenarios over and over and over and over again in your life simply because of your thoughts, your actions, and your habits. Okay, it takes 21 days to, to, to create a new habit, family. Okay, so change everything that is not working. All right, if you know that you're going down a path and it's not working, stop going down that path. You gotta turn around and come back and go down a different route. If you know that hanging around that person is not bringing you no joy, no enlightenment, no peace, no love, no, no gratitude, nothing, you gotta leave those people behind. Okay, and right now there may be this weird energy that's going on, you know, in your life, you may be feeling stuck, you know, you may be feeling like, 
I don't know how to get out of this job to step foot into my purpose. This is why I want you guys to reach out to me so that I can talk to you one-on-one -on -one and we can figure out how to maneuver around those challenges to get you to that place. All right, I'm not perfect, family. I'm not perfect, but I will help you, all right? I am wise, I am intelligent, <laughs> okay? So if you have an idea and you're not sure how to get it started, come talk to me because I may, I may be able to discuss something with you that can help you be like, ding, a little light bulb may go off in your head and you can take that and run with it, okay? Take it, just take it, take it, take it and run with it, man. Listen, do not worry, my family. Do not worry. And I know this is hard because we know God is not a God of worry. All right. And there's a lot of things going on right now on the face of the planet to keep us in a state of worry. A lot of things, man, a lot of things, especially with the recession, you know, financial struggles. That's a big one right now. That's a big one for many of you. A lot is going on. A lot is going on, family. Matt, I'm going to be transparent just for me, for myself. I just put my car back in the shop. I'm like, are you serious? I'm getting a whole new intake manifold, you know, on my car. And of course, that's going to cost me a grip. Um, so. I can definitely feel, you know, something's going, and things happen, you know, things happen, but we cannot react to it in a negative way. If I would have thrown a temper tantrum and got all upset, man, how do, how would I expect God to bless me with more, you know, when I'm acting like that, when things happen. So when things are happening right now in your life, pay close attention to exactly what is happening so that you don't react in a negative way. You have to stay positive. You have to stay positive. You have to stay positive. You got family, you got to be optimistic. You have to be optimistic about the situations that you are coming across right now in your life, all right? And it's not happening for a reason because many of you are going through this right now. You know, from the comments that I've seen, um, from the people that I've, that I've talked to, and from the things that I'm seeing in my own life and the things that I have talked to God about myself, you know, when I get down in, on my hands and knees and pray, family, family. There's something strange happening. <laughs> there's definitely there's definitely something strange happening. And some of you may may experience that the narcissist is being nice to you, right? They may be being nice. They may be trying to what? Put that mask back on to reel you right back in. Okay, so you may be having a weird energy of being attacked from people you don't know, strangers, maybe even people from your past or something like that. And you may have somebody that's actually being nice to you and trying to reel you back in. All right, there's a lot of just, just just, weird things going on right now. And it's just trickling down. You know, it's really, really trickling down. It's affecting humanity. It's affecting people, um, you know, from, from food prices, you know, gas and, you know, um, you know, everything that's going on in the upper, right? The upper organizations, the wickedness in high places and everything like that. It's just trickling down. It's truly, truly trickling down. And I really resonate with you guys saying like, yo, I feel stuck right now. I don't know what to do. I'm not sure what's going on with my job. This is confirmation. All right, this is confirmation for you guys, all right? So when you come across these messages, all right, and it's, and it's in alignment with where you are in your life, you have to apply it to your life, all right? Pay close attention. Don't just be like, okay, I'm in alignment, that's correct, and then just keep going about your day. Be sure to apply it to your life, no matter what it is, no matter what it is, right? If you need to, if you need to break free from something and I gave you a message and it was in alignment and you know you need to break free from something, apply that to your life. Because I guarantee you, man, you're gonna find yourself moving forward so much faster, so much faster, family, okay? And then it's gonna help you get unstuck because now Coach KB can hold you accountable, all right? But when you guys talk to me one-on-one, -on -one, I can hold you accountable even more, all right? And it's gonna help you move forward. It's gonna help you get out of the subconscious programming, help you get out of that mindset that you're currently in so that you can actually move forward in your life guys okay so if you're battling right now at the nine to five job i don't know why i keep hearing just the nine to five job the nine to five job the nine to five job i feel like a lot of people are awakening right now uh, um more people you're like many of you have gone through awakenings but you're going through more awakenings right you're going through more awakenings you're discovering more of who you are you're discovering more of who that person was you're discover you're discovering more of your your talents your dreams your goals your passions you're discovering more of what you are able to offer to hope to the world all right guys so listen obviously we know that the devil is out here to still kill and destroy okay satan is out to still kill and destroy to get you off this narrow course and steer you in a direction where you do not want to go all right and because you guys are awakening right now you're discovering your true power not only that you're taking your power back from the narcissist you're taking the power back you know your power back from that job that did you wrong 
all right? A lot of people, man, will talk to you guys any type of way and walk all over top of you and expect for you guys not to do nothing because you are so nice, because you wear your heart on your sleeve and you're always willing to help people, right? This is the time right now where you have to put your foot down and you gotta let, you gotta let people know that I may be a soldier and a child of God, but I will not let you or anyone talk to me any type of way or walk all over top of me and think that you can take advantage of me. That will happen. That, that, that will happen. That will happen, right? People will do that, but it's going to end. It's going to end. All right. And that's why you guys might be feeling a weird energy. You might be feeling attacked an increase in spiritual attacks and increase in financial struggles and stuff like that, because they're trying to take the power back away from you that you already regained back. You already regained it back. So keep on keeping on, guys. No matter what, keep on keeping on. Keep pressing. Keep moving that needle forward and do not quit, family. That This is the important part is to not throw that white towel in. Because I know many of you want to. You're probably like, man, I'm, I'm just done. I'm done. I'm fed up. I'm stressed out. I'm depressed. I'm sick of this life. I'm sick of this. I'm sick of that. I get it, guys. I get it. We're all, the whole, well, not the whole world, obviously, but majority of the world. A lot of people, we're going through a lot. We're going through a lot. Don't be ashamed. Don't be embarrassed. You know what I'm saying? Don't beat yourself up. You know, stop, stop being so hard on yourself, telling yourselves that you're never going to make it. You know, stop, um, you know, just stop worrying. Try to stop worrying. What I want you guys to do, man, is to find peace right now in your life. If you're dealing with a, a situation or a struggle or something right now with this weird energy that's happening, go do something that brings you joy, happiness, and love. If you love to read a book and sit outside under a tree and let the breeze uh, you know, flow through your hair, go do that. Do something that's going to take your mind off of that issue off of that situation, off of that worry. Do something that's gonna take your mind away from it after you prayed on it, all right? And focus on something different. This is this is the definition of letting go, right? When you're letting go of something, you're trusting God that he's gonna deliver you from it. And that's exactly what you guys have to do right now. Do not worry, my family. I know there's some strange things happening. I know there's a lot of bickering. There's a lot of uh, 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 attacking, you know? So I wanna know your stories. I wanna know what you guys are going through and what you and how you guys are feeling right now. But just remember, as these people continue to come across your path and try to torment you and stir your emotions up, all right? You have to realize that you cannot react to them and you gotta go in another direction, all right? It's all about mindset right now. It's all about growth. It's all about planting seeds. It's all about change. It's all about change, all right? But how are you gonna get there? Don't let people focus you, focus you. Don't let, don't let people get you out of focus. Stay focused on your goals and your vision and where God is trying to take you, okay? And when you guys can do that, you can actually move forward, all right? You can actually move forward. A lot, of, a lot of you may be feeling stuck because you allow for people to get up here. And the thing is, is that you have to realize is that you have the power to, to change your decision, to change your emotion, right? So if somebody is pointing their finger at you, they're cussing at you, they're yelling at you, they're saying all these things at you, yeah, you can get upset. You can cuss them back out. You can get mad at them and you can yell back at them. You can do that. That's why God gave you free will and choice. But you also have the decision to ignore them and be happy. Which road are you going to take? It's all about how you're going to play it, my family. Okay, a lot of you guys are stuck in life and feel like you can't do anything, maybe because you're reacting to things that you shouldn't be reacting to in the first place. All right, and this is where you need to heal in internally, or you need to fix whatever you have on the inside internally, you know, that's causing those disruptions and things to happen. And for you to re continue to recreate these same scenarios over and over and over again in your life. God said, do not worry, family. Do not worry. Give it all to him. Give it all to him. Let go. Enjoy your life. Do something that you love. Put yourself in a feel-good state, a great state of gratitude. You know, what are you grateful for? You know, it could be the smallest things in life. I'm grateful that I had some, some water to drink. I'm grateful. You know what I'm saying? Whatever it is. All right? You can change your emotions on the dime, your thoughts on the dime, just like that. All right? Because now you are aware my family, you are aware that your thoughts create your reality. So because you can do that, you can create a better life for yourself. Okay? So I love you guys to life. If this video resonated with you guys today, you already know the deal. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up right here. Truly, truly appreciate you guys. Come on over to the Patreon, my family, and come and check it out. More and more to come for you all. For you all. Uh, that's part of the Patreon. So I love you guys to life. Thank you for being there and being a part of it. You already know the deal, okay? If you guys want to reach out, you want to talk, 
come to my website, www.speakitseeitfeelit.com and we can talk family, all right? Y'all have a great rest of your Monday. Have a great week ahead. Remember to keep pushing no matter what, man. You can't quit. Don't throw that towel in. Change your direction. If, you, if you're thinking this way, if you know, <laughs> you know somebody's about to, about to spark a, a short fuse on you, okay? You need to woosaw, you need to breathe, and you need to change your emotion. You need to change directions and go in another way, my family, okay? Until then, I love you to life, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.